All right, some of you have been having trouble with uh, trying to, to actually make the threads on an interior part. Um, so I, I already have my helix on the interior of this part that I made. And so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually make the threads themselves. So um, what I actually recommend that you do first uh, after you have the helix on there is that you start a sectional view. So we're actually gonna go uh, to the view options here. We're gonna go down to section view and we're gonna select which plane we wanna cut this figure um, by and we're gonna choose the right plane. All right, so now you can see there's a section view. I hit the check mark and then that's the view I'm in. All right, this will make it a lot easier for me to sketch um, correctly uh, what I need to sketch. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to start a sketch on um, this plane. I can also start the sketch, uh, well, let me start the sketch on sectional, no, it won't. So I just need to start the sketch on that same plane that I, that I cut the sectional with, which is, um, this right side plane. Oops, I want to do that. There we go. So I'm going to click on the right plane, start a sketch. I'm going to view normal to the sketch plane. All right, and now I can actually uh, make my pieces. Now what I have to do is I have to use, I have to go to the use um, tool. And when I select use, I can click on that line right there. So now that line shows up in my, um, uh, in my, sketch. All right. So that's right there. And then I can click on that right there, the helix, and that'll give me a, the point that I can start with. Um, and so now I'm just going to create a simple triangle. Uh, so I'm going to go from the intersection of those two up to here and down to there, just as an idea. All right. Um, you'll want to make that triangle a little bit more specific, or I think some of you have recognized that maybe there's um, an arc in there somewhere. Um, like I can do a three point arc. I'll zoom this in. So I can go from like here to there over to, that's not exactly what I want to do. Sorry. Let's try that again. I can go from here to there and bring it up a little bit like that. All right, and then I could kind of use a rounded off feature, right? So if I now uh, finish that sketch, then I should be able to do a sweep of that face along a sweep path. Now, when I go to do the sweep path, I have to be careful. I don't want to just click on this because it may not be the helix that I'm clicking on. I want to make sure to turn my picture a little bit and there's my helix see there's there's a sketch right there that i used or part of the sketch i don't want to use that i want to use that helix right there all right and so now because i've had that sectional view i can actually see um kind of where those threads are coming through and you can see it ends right there uh comes through and then if i turn the sectional view off which i'll show you how to do here um Sorry, it's just being a little bit slow. Um, turn the sectional view off. I'm gonna click on that. I'm gonna click on section view off. And now I have my figure. All right, and there's the threads. Now, uh, you'll have to pay attention. The threads uh, do or can come out the other end if, if your helix goes all the way through. Uh, so you may have to do some chopping off of that somehow. I'm not gonna give that secret away right now, um, but there you go. Hope that helps.